Welcome to this video overview of User Management in SureTax. In this tutorial, we will cover how to add, edit, and delete users. After logging into SureTax and selecting the business you're going to work with, you can reach User Management using the menu. Under Configuration, click on User Setup. This is where you can add, edit, or delete users within the system. Users are grouped by role below, and we can select to filter by active users, inactive users, or all users. Right now active users are displayed. Let's say that we want to add a new user by clicking the Add button. So here we see the Add a user dialog. Required fields are indicated by red asterisks. At the very top, the first selection we can make is whether to mark this user as active or inactive. I've selected to add an active user, and can now start filling out the required fields. Starting with the first name. Then the last name. And then I select a role for this new user. And enter their email address. There is an option here, if you choose it, to enter a different email address for MFA or multi-factor authentication purposes. For added security, an MFA address is where you would receive a code to verify your identity on a device. The box to use the same email address is checked by default, but if you want to enter a separate email address, you can uncheck it and enter the address in this field. I'm fine with them being the same, so I'll skip this field. It's also optional to add a phone number for this user. And I can specify what type of phone number it is. Lastly, I can select whether to specify that this user can be designated as the preparer on returns. If I select yes, this produces two additional fields where I can enter the user's tax ID and their title or function. Having entered all of the information that I want to enter at this time, I then click save to finish adding the user. And here we can see the new user that I just added, placed in a group according to the role that I assigned for them. This user will receive an email at the address that I entered, enabling them to log in with a temporary password and get ready to use the system. At that time they'll receive an MFA code to verify their identity. Now let's try editing a user, which we can do by clicking on their card. This opens the Edit a User dialog, which has the same fields as the previous dialog but includes the information I already added. Let's say I want to add a phone number for this person. Since we're here, I will point out that this dialog is also where you can send the user a password reset email. This email will be sent to the user's primary email address. Having come here to edit though, and having made my change, I will click Save to save my changes and close the window. Now we can see that a phone number has been added to the card for this user. These groups, organized by role, can be expanded and collapsed accordion style so that you only need to see the users you want to work with. Now let's say that a user has left the company, and needs to be deleted from the system. I can do this by clicking the card for that user, opening the edit a user dialog. If you expect the user to return, you can simply toggle active user to no, marking that user as inactive. But in this case I will remove the user by clicking the delete button. I am then asked to confirm the deletion. And now we can see that the user's card has been removed from the user setup screen. This brings our tutorial to a close, so I will click the Walters Kluwer logo at the top. And return to the SureTax dashboard. Thanks for watching our video on user management in SureTax.